Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with what's been considered the most beautiful book of the 18th century, the Roy Amat Bible, the Roy Amat Bible by Nicholas Fontaine. I think he wrote under a pseudonym Richard Blom or something like that. Now this is an incomplete, this is just, I think, 103 sheets of one of those great Bibles. You can see that it's still bound. It's about 12 inches by 18 inches. I keep forgetting to bring a ruler out here with me. You can see that it is vastly bigger than my Cambridge large print. Now one of the things that made this so valuable is it had 260 woodcuts in it, which woodcuts are just basically where they would carve a piece of wood and imprint it on this rag cotton paper that it lasts so long. So this thing is from 1712 and it has the lives and the travelings and the uh, sufferings of the 12 apostles. It has a list of the 12 apostles. Let's see if I can get it to a place where I can uh, and then it has like an overview, the contents of the chapters, like of the book of Acts. I don't want to tear this thing up. The book of Acts, chapters, you can see that it's like a commentary in there. It does that for all the New Testament books. Now something else, a lot of people say that dispensationalism started with John Nelson Darby in the late 1800s. Well, this has the seven ages of man, and instead of dispensations, it just calls them ages. But this thing is in just fantastic shape. I just don't want to break this spine. It has a historical chronology kind of in the, uh, the uh, tradition of Usher and Lloyd as well. The life of Matthias, the life of St. Simon the Zealot, a historical chronology of such matters as related to the canonical books of the Old New Testament according to the division of the seven periods or ages of the world. Let me show you that. And it's very similar to dispensationalism. And I know it's kind of awkward for me, but I can do it if you can do it. So, you can see that it was already kind of being divided up by that time in 1712. And uh, so reproductions of this cost a lot of money. I haven't looked through all 103 pages because I don't want to mess it up. But I'll uh, see if there are any woodcuts. Don't see any woodcuts. But it is still in great shape. The Royamot Bible of 1712. Again, many people considered this the most beautiful book printed in the 1700s. I know Great Sight Marketing had a facsimile of this. But uh, God bless. Keep loving scripture in Jesus' name.